Gallagher on the replay because let's be honest, it's only my dafties are out at this time at ten to four in the morning in the UK. And that's why we've got two wonderful brothers from the USA coming on. But most of like me, who we were born into a Celtic, a Celtic family, people who were surrounded with me who were Celtic daft. Same way it's rubbed off in my oldest daughter. Even my youngest daughter has got the buzz now. But, uh, you know, when they see other Celtic daft people about them, they get the, they get the bug for it and uh, they, they develop a love for it. And uh, it's amazing to listen to people who have been drawn into Celtic. I can never, ever tire from hearing from these people who have came into being as part of the Celtic community. And uh, one of them is with some person, a person who we spoke to just 20 minutes ago, 20 short minutes ago, I do believe, or 25 minutes ago. Hopefully he's not drifted off with his lovely medicinal blunt we can get him back on here. And also we're going to get a wonderful G-Man from Beyond the Waves. There might be a shutdown in the US of A, but there ain't no shutdown for the good United States of American brothers here. Whereas the brother Rocky, Rocky, come in Rocky. I have to phone him here now, stay there. We're on a lockdown, we're here all night. Oof, what numbers? My goodness. Where's he going to here? Where's his number? Can I see him? Hey. Hey, stay there. We'll try to get the bold Rocky on, we'll get the bold Rocky back on as we're talking to him. And then we'll get the G-Man if you're there, G-Man, hold fire brother, hold fire. Right, stay there, right, hold on. Right, let's see if we can get Rocky on my number. Oh, hold on, he seems to have a... Uh... Shit man, where's he going? Let's call his Skype, there we go. Call and Skype, stay there. I'm going to try to get the bold rocky here. Hello, Rocky, what's happening? Where's he going? I'm trying to phone him here. Oh, here, where's he going? Where's his number? Shit, man, where are you, Rocky? Can I get him here? No, stay there. Wait, I don't know what's happened here. I've lost Rocky's number on that one. Maybe, what's happened there, Rocky? Where are you, Rocky boy? Right, mobile. Try this one. Here we go. See if this one works. Hello, this is Rocky Bataglia, unfortunately. Rocky, not on that one. But it's, ah, there he is there. Oof. Hello. Can you feel it? Are you there, Rocky boy? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, mate, yeah. How was your blunt? How was your medicinal herb? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. It's about uh, where's the G? Yeah, so you, you, were, you were saying there, can you hear me okay? Yep, yep. So I whereabouts are you? Are you on the East Coast? Are you on the West Coast? Are you, whereabouts are you tonight? Yeah, I'm over there. I'm in the USA. Are you, are you in a nightclub, yeah? Oh, no, no, no. I'm in a fucking uh, house. Uh, the music's too loud. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. Who's with you tonight, Rocky? Who are you with? You don't have to say, obviously. 
I'm say that again. Where where no, do I live? No, who who are you with just now? Are you chilling with friends? Are you on your own or, or what? I, I'm by myself with a fucking huge bag of weed and a fucking stack of uh, paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> And so you're in a state where it's obviously legal to to uh, to get a hold of the the medicinal herb, then, yeah? Uh no, no, I I can't go that far and say that. Right, but, right, uh, right. Uh, yeah, I I purchased it totally in a state that where it's totally legal, but I'm in a state that's uh, lagging behind on those, you know, progressively cool fucking laws. So yeah. But what are they gonna do? I mean, now they they kind of like decriminalized it in the in the place that I'm in right now, where a fucking cop would just make you throw it out. Basically, he wouldn't he wouldn't lock you up. You know, she had a few fucking pounds of the shit, I guess. And and how how's it going? Do you reckon the rest of the the states will go the same way eventually? Uh, I, I, I you know why? Because it's fucking. I know California. The first year that they did it, it was, I, I, you know, tens of billions or a couple of billions, something like that. A lot of fucking tax revenue came in uh, because of it. And, you know, a lot of people that were against it, that then all of a sudden were all for it. So i definitely heading that way. We got a few states in, in this country that are like the fucking knuckle draggers in in. in to Shankill and, and parts of Scotland over there where, you know, South Carolina, they're fucking hillbillies and they call them that, you know, because of the reason. So it'll take a hundred years for that change to go there. But in any fucking state in this country that a, a good fellow like you or your listeners would ever want to visit, yeah, I think, you know, in a decade, it'll definitely be no kind of fucking crime to fucking light up a joint. But here, listen, you're dealing with, uh, I mean, just in the last week, the IRA put out a statement uh, that it, 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 it biffed a, a boy uh, somewhere in Belfast who was a major drugs dealer. But at the same time that they, they put out this announcement, they did so in a local pub. I mean, and the distinction that they don't get and see is that alcohol kills and damages more people in all communities in the north and south of Ireland, and instead of targeting people who take recreational, whatever, you know, the the, the hypocrisy uh, and a lot of sides, you know, when they say, oh, people who are doing these drugs or that drugs, when one of the biggest killers, or two of the biggest killers, are the two illegal drugs that the British state has deemed that... Uh, you know that the that you can take, which is mar uh, sorry, no, is, is tobacco and alcohol. You know, so it's it's progressive states in the USA that hopefully lead the way. That even places in Ireland and uh, in Britain maybe at some point might join the Enlightenment, but uh, somehow I can't see it happening in many places over here. Just like you say, like in the in the deep south and in, in, in places or whatever it is, you know who. Are, who are just enshrined with this kind of, I don't know, it's a very closed mentality, isn't it, Rocky? It is, and it's self-defeating because, you know, I don't think it helped. One, one war uh, the Western powers definitely lost is the fucking war on drugs. You know, you can't go to a, a, a vacation spot, and I'll, I'll speak for Thailand and most of Southeast Asia and the entire fucking Caribbean, Mexico included, without hearing or seeing or whatever, somebody looking for fucking pop, being offered pop by a bellboy or whatever, any fucking way you go, Vegas. So, you know, these people are working fucking people, business fucking people. You know, some of the, the most successful people that I know, the people I admire most in the industry that I'm in, are potheads, complete fucking tea heads, you know what I mean? And uh, they obviously, they pay their fucking taxes, they, you know, they keep their, their neighborhoods looking good and their fucking property value up and they teach their fucking children, you know, good manners. So it's, somebody said, somebody that, that's pretty fucking right told me that if when the, the English and the, the people that, 
settled this country would have uh, there would have been uh, marijuana growing in North Carolina and fucking Georgia where the tobacco grows that we would be buying twenty fucking joints in, in a pack of fucking uh, cigarettes cigarettes with weed because that's how they made money because uh, and cigarettes are so much more addictive you know so much more bad for you <clears throat> and it's true you know so he wants to fucking do things that make the decisions in Washington and other, you know, municipalities see the tremendous amount of tax revenue that comes in in the, in the states and, and cities that have it. They're going to fucking follow suit because it's all about money, you know, with those, with the people that fucking make the decisions in our lives, like you were saying earlier. The line was breaking. I'd take the rockets. I, I don't know. Did you phone me on your mobile? Is this on your Skype? Is, was, was your mobile the one I phoned you earlier on? Yeah. Yeah. You were on the mobile earlier. Right now it's on Skype. You yeah. No, it's my, I think it's my side as well. But it always sounds a wee bit uh, tinnier because we're still on it. But it's cool now. It's cool now. It was my side that was freezing up a wee bit there, but it seems to be okay. But I was going to try and get the, the, the G-Man on now because I remember one time I read a tweet uh, of yourself, your good self, and you said I'd love to do a show. My dream is to do a show to get uh, the G Man for Beyond the Waves and myself and you on a three way call. So I was I was going to try and tie the G Man in, but I was going to say if if uh, if the sound quality goes on this, is is a mobile I can get you on, or if the, if the quality goes, or, or will you be able to phone me back right away? Yeah, yeah. The, the, you called me right before when we, when we talked before. Me on my American uh, mobile number, right? Okay, but need my signature and all the email, so you definitely have it. Call that number. You can call that on the Skype. It's totally up to you. I'm well, here. Listen, the, the the thing that threw me there is, is I think it put it on your Thailand number. So I, I I was trying to dial and I was getting through your Thailand number. So if you I don't know how you can add that on there, or or is it did you DM me that number because. I tried to phone that back, but it was just coming up, flashing up your Thailand number there, Rocky. Can I can I uh, DM it to you right now? I'm saying yeah, on you on you go. If you DM me, and I'll phone you back on that then, right? Yeah, brother, for sure, man. That shit's on the fucking way. Okay, cool, right, bro. I'll get the G man on as well, right? Awesome. Yeah. All right, bro. Right. That deep, that uh, direct message is sent, so you got the fucking number. God bless. Speaking in a minute, right? Speaking to. All right, Tommy boy. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> right, let's see if we get the G Man on. Right, I told you there ain't no shutdown in North America tonight. You've reached Graham Wilson with Homer Optical Company. Graham. Graham, man. Graham, what's happening? Where's Graham? Graham, where are thou, Graham? Come in, Graham. Come in, Graham. Where is the G man? They want the Graham. They said that there was a shutdown in the United States of America, and by proving them wrong, there ain't no shutdown in the USA tonight. There ain't no shutdown in the USA tonight. Hello. Oh, Jesus, I've hung up and he just picked up. I hate that when that happens. <laughs> the G, man. Come on, G. Yo, G, what's happening? Hello? Graham. Tommy, I thought you were going to hear me on Skype. What have I phoned you on? Is that you on the mobile or the Skype? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you hear me on Skype? I've got you on this and now, whatever you're on the now, it sounds good, my man. Are you sure? The Skype sounds yeah. much better, but if, if I'm coming through clear on this, that's fine. Yeah, well, yeah, well I can phone you on the Skype, let's see, we'll, we'll see the difference, right? We'll try the difference, right? Hold on. Right, so that was on his mobile there. Let's see how he sounds on his Skype. And his Skype is, let's see, let's see. And the Skype is, where is it? Ah, oh, there he's out. 